I'm Lindsay Beregard. And I'm Stephen Markley, and welcome to Cars Cast Weekly, the official recession edition. We'll take a look at how falling gas prices affect the hybrid market, how far automakers will go to sell cars, and how the Markley family coped during this Thanksgiving. No turkey, but no raccoon problem either. So sit back, buckle up. You're watching Cars Cast Weekly. Lindsay, do you remember this summer when we were doing all those stories on unreal gas prices? Of course. How could I forget? Well, now the pendulum has swung back the other way. And with gas prices hitting unheard of lows, the push for more hybrid cars has dampened somewhat. Automakers wonder whether people will shell out the extra cash for hybrids in a lousy economy when gas is so cheap. Still, American hybrid production is supposed to increase in 2009, meaning that there will be about 40,000 more hybrids built next year than were built in 2008. Keep in mind this doesn't factor in the new Honda Insight or the redesigned Toyota Prius, which will be built overseas. Ford's drastic end-of-the-year employee pricing sale will now last until January 5th. For example, the 2008 Ford F-150, which has an MSRP of nearly $18,000, is going for $12,384. To see more employee pricing and find out if the offers apply to your region, check out kickingtires.net. I think pretty soon they'll just start giving cars away. Or they'll continue to compete for the title of dirt cheapest car. Right now, the crown belongs to the Hyundai Accent, which is once again the cheapest car in America. Hyundai has announced that the Accent's base trim will start at $9,970, which is $20 cheaper than the 2009 Nissan Versus price, which was announced in November. The price is a lot less than the $11,070 the Accent was previously going for. They're in. They're out. They're back in. After announcing that it would pull out of both the 2009 Detroit and Chicago Auto Shows due to our tough economic climate, Nissan announced it would in fact show up to the Chicago Auto Show because it is geared more toward consumers than Detroit. Nissan, quit playing mind games with us. To lighten the mood in these tough economic times, here are some outtakes from a Cars.com classic video, Common Myths Among Young Drivers. Kid from over here. Okay, so perfect. <laughs> You're strangling. Alright, so now what we're going to do is okay, I'm going to pull forward and hit the brakes. I'm going to pull forward like eight feet. All right. <laughs> Not even. Some people believe the myth. Don't All right, I'm not, I'm not even going to talk. Just go. Oh my okay. God, F I know, I just see these, I see these little eyes peeking through and it's creeping me out. Oh. <laughs> Poor Todd. Isn't uh, abusing a mannequin illegal in the state of Illinois? I think the more important question here is why our staff photographer Ian even owns a mannequin to begin with. But anyway, that's all the time we have for this week. For Cars Cast Weekly, I'm Lindsay Beregard. And I'm Stephen Markley. And until next time, Nissan, use your mind games to sell cars. For more car-related news, go to cars.com or our blog, Kicking Tires.